for this year with a chance to clinch a double bye tomorrow. Can you just reflect on the energy and the different feeling of tomorrow's home finale versus last season's? Yeah. Do you know who last year's was? Yeah. Um, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely different. I mean, it's probably not quite as different as, as you might imagine or from uh, if somebody was just a fan. I mean, you know, there's a lot of hard work and effort that goes into teams that are really good and teams that are trying to find their way. So uh, certainly there's more excitement and enthusiasm and a greater goal to shoot for. But in terms of our day-to-day, -day, how we're working and the energy, I thought our guys worked really hard last year, and which is part of the reason we're having success this year. So um, it's definitely different in terms of when we wake up and look at the standings. Uh, but how we work every day and how the energy we get from the guys, I think, is fairly similar because it's a lot about preparation and uh, and development of guys and and hard work, which was which was there last year. How, you guys, yeah, how much different is your preparation for this matchup with Davidson than the, the first one? You know, not not too different. I mean, since they're a team that uh, I mean they're playing incredibly well, their offensive numbers are off the charts. Um, but they're a team that has a certain style of play and a certain, you know, a, a great, incredibly successful um, style of play. And so we have a little bit of our way. We try to defend them and try to, um, you know, try to cover up for the, what they try to expose. Um, so it's not too different, although I think we're very aware of how well they're playing. Goodmanson's been tremendous. Grady's been tremendous. Um, you know, they're a great team, great coach, great program. So we always put a lot of, yeah, I think everybody probably puts more preparation into the Davidson game than most. How, was, how efficient is, how close to being as efficient as your defense you would like to see? Yeah. They've been playing the last three quarters. How close for how ourselves? Close you would like to see like your top yeah. defensive wish list. How close is this? Yeah. I think we're pretty close. I think we have good statistical numbers. And then, you know, I always go by the feel we have during the course of the game in the first half against UMass. I thought, we really made them take hard shots. We created turnovers. We were opportunistic when we pressed. So we're we're pretty close, you know. But that's something that always can be can be improved upon. And a particular team or particular guy can make that go south pretty quickly. So, uh, but I, I think we we've improved so much. Hopefully, we can finish out on a really good note defensively because uh, it's something I think all of us take a great amount of pride in. How, how crucial is perimeter defense <clears throat> tomorrow? Just with kind of their their, their game. Yeah guys and their skill set. Yeah. Well, perimeter defense is is not quite everything, but it's so much. I mean, Goodmanson and Grady, they put so much pressure on you every possession. You know, they have a really good balance of aggressiveness, but pattern and knowing how to play. And they don't get stuck or have to reset ever. Uh, and so that puts pressure on you because they could score uh, in the first few seconds of the shot clock or the last few seconds of the shot clock. And they have a good balance of those guys are, are entitled to a few more shots and a few more opportunities. Um, so you have to be alert the whole time, the whole possession, uh, right from the beginning. They have a great transition. Um, they have a great transition attack, and then they have a great half-court attack, and they're great at the end of the clock. So you really have to be alert the whole time. What do you hope to see carry over from Saturday? <coughs> yeah. To make sure this team is where you want to be, you know, within the next week. Sure. Um, well, hopefully we, uh, you know, generally we do. We have certain things that we, we feel like we're pretty good at: um, sharing the ball, taking care of the ball, playing with energy, uh, and hopefully just m making shots is important. Um, and you know that in one way it's a little bit of a game by game. Well, if you make them, that's great. But another way, you know, you can control some of it, taking good ones early making sure we're into a flow, making sure we move the ball well. Um, so hopefully we can we can ha have that carry over. We, we made shots. You know, and when we make shots, like a lot of teams, it's really hard to guard us. And so hopefully we can take good shots early to get ourselves in a pretty good groove. When you shut down a guy like Mitchell for the first half, yeah. uh, you know, and just make it hard for him to create and do his thing, how does that, how does that can that confidence spill over to yeah. a different game? For sure. Uh, really, I think Grant has been – tremendously improved on defense you know he has uh, he's worked really hard at it you know we probably doubled Mitchell maybe four times but the rest of the time we probably guarded him straight up he made it difficult for him you know made him catch it off the block made him shoot over long arms so uh, I do think that can carry over because again it's just more a matter of you know it's a cycle of working hard at it being successful having more confidence willingness to work hard at it so I, I do think that can carry over
Yeah. yeah. You're talking to the wrong guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 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 good. I mean, the the, the fun is honestly, uh, and and Jason, Bob around these guys. I mean, it's a really good group. Uh, you know, Grant's an exceptional leader to have the upperclassmen that we have. I mean, you can see how much Nathan Kay has improved, uh, how much, you know, how hard the guys play. So it's a really fun group to be around. I think that's the fun part. Um, you know, obviously trying to trying to get this double by and uh, get our, you know, put ourselves forward as, as best as we possibly can is, is exciting and a challenge. But the fun part is being around the guys and the staff and the road trips, those kinds of things have, have been really special, particularly with this group. Safe to say you guys are planning for a, a, a better Davidson team than you saw there last month. Yeah, um, obviously we know their numbers in February have been really good. Obviously their two best players have been playing uh, really well as of late. Um, but we, we've got our leading score back, so we're excited to play them. Jacob, tomorrow you have a chance to clinch a double bye. You know, based on where you guys were at last year, can you now reflect on how much you know, more meaningful and how different this home finale is from a season ago? Yeah, um, I'm excited. I hope everybody gets to come out. You know, it's a, it's a big crowd because it's going to be a good game. But um, like you said, it's a whole different turnout than last year. Um, so we're excited to play. Obviously, the double bye is um, one of our main goals. So that's what we're trying to do. How crucial is perimeter defense tomorrow night just with kind of the – the outside game that they have. Yeah, they've been shooting the ball well, so obviously that's going to be something that we key in on. Um, yeah, limiting threes, that's going to be our, our main thing, trying to contain Kellen and, and John, so we'll see. You guys looked so fresh and energized Saturday night. A, is that an accurate observation? And B, if it is, why did that happen this late in the season? Um, we were expecting a, a really good UMass team. Um, obviously, they didn't, they didn't play their best. Uh, we played pretty good. But, you know, at the end of the day, anybody can beat anybody. We knew this is a game. That was a game we had to win, just like the rest of them. But um, we came out with something to prove. Is there a competitive advantage that the game got out of hand and you guys got more rest than you normally got with a shorter turnaround now for Tuesday night? Yeah, obviously with the game on Tuesday, um, it was good that the guys were able to get rest, especially uh, our main five that are going to have, uh, have a lot of minutes coming up on them. So uh, it was good.